All right, well, you're only two lessons away now from being able to write your first program. But before that, uh, we need to talk about arguments and return values. In an earlier lesson, we learned the basics about functions. Primarily, you learned that functions are programs that reside in memory, just like any other data, and that you can instruct your computer to jump to that address in memory and execute a function. Now I want to expand on that knowledge and explore exactly what makes a function useful and so critical to programmers. Every program would be useless if it didn't have a way to display something to the screen. You could write a program, for example, that can convert a binary number to a hexadecimal number, but without a way to actually see the result, you may as well have written nothing. It should then be clear to you that one function that is included with just about every programming language is some sort of ability to print text to the screen. Now this varies from language to language, but let's call this function print for the sake of this lesson. Now imagine that print is a function that sits in memory at some address just like we talked about in the previous lesson. Now suppose that I want to print some specific text, like Hello Reddit. How could I do that? First of all, notice that it is not enough to just simply call the print function. I need to have a way of specifying what it is I want to print. Whenever you give a function extra information that it needs in order to perform a task, that extra information is known as a parameter or an argument. You can give a function as many parameters as you like. Now, in this specific example, we have a function called print, and we have a parameter that we're sending to the function, which is a string of text called hello reddit. And the parameter simply tells the function what it is that we want to print. If we called the function and we didn't give it a parameter, we wouldn't be doing anything because how can you print something if you don't know what it is you're supposed to print? So the parameter specifies what it is that we want to actually print. Now let me give you another example. Let's suppose there's a function called draw circle which is designed to draw a circle somewhere on your screen. Well, if you just call the draw circle function and you don't give it any extra information, how does it know where to draw the circle, what color to make the circle, the thickness of the circle? There, there are a lot of different um, parameters that you need to give to a function in order to be able to use it. Now, every programming language does this differently, but all programming languages give you some kind of ability to send extra information to a function. This information is used by the function in order to complete the task you desire. Different incoming parameters will likely change the result of a function. Whenever a function finishes executing, it passes control of the program back to the line of code where the function was called. However, it has an option of also sending back some information to tell about what it did or whether or not it was successful. And a function can even return more complex data. So whenever you call a function that has a return value, what happens is as soon as the function is done, it is going to send that return value back to the program that called it, and you can use that information. For example, 
in our draw circle function, maybe the draw circle returns a value of successful if it was able to draw the circle on the screen, and maybe it returns a value of not successful if it was not able to draw the circle on the screen for some reason. And then inside your program you can use that information in order to perhaps display an error message or try again or something else. Now here is another example. Let's suppose that we have a function whose job it is is to take one string of text and then transform it so that it becomes all uppercase. So in this case what we would do is we would create a function let's call the function make uppercase for example and then we would send the text hello reddit as a parameter to the function. Then the function would execute and then the function as a return value would send back the new string of text which is hello reddit with all capital letters. In general functions can return anything at all as a return value and this can be used by whatever called the function. Functions are everywhere in programming. Even your main program is itself a function. In fact, some programming languages require you to expressly create a function for your main program. 